Hello, this is Jay Lewis with two shortcuts, this time with Agnostics and Solutions Mac 254, also applicable to older versions of Mac and IPTV boxes in general. If you have TV service with the cable or satellite company, then with no doubt that you at some point had had technical problems. So logically, don't expect IPTV service to be a problem free. In our example, Mac 254. Whether you are a new or an experienced user, uh, sooner or later you will have to face certain technical issues that in most of the cases they will have to be resolved by yourself. And would be very handy if you have the knowledge, the tools and the skills to solve them yourself. The good thing is that you are in the right place to learn how to define them, prevent them or correct them as they pop up. Among the most common problems you may have are loading page error, portal error, STP block, no signal message, resolution not supported or incompatible resolution message, authentication problems, reauthorization of the service, factory defaulting and freezing or missing channels among others. In this tutorial, we'll be troubleshooting the known signal message and incompatible resolution, which is very common with already active or brand new STV receivers as well. On the video information, I left some quick links to other technical problems and solutions that are not covered in this tutorial but are listed as the common problems, or check them out at twoshortcuts.com. The no signal message and incompatible resolution may go hand by hand but could be caused by different reasons, such as selecting the incorrect input source on the TV, a damaged HDMI port on your TV or a damaged HDMI port on your STV Mac, a bad HDMI cable or maybe the display resolution was set up to the wrong geographical zone. Now, in order to find your a specific problem, you must follow me with the process of elimination. So consider my recommendations even if they seem to be tedious or unnecessary, as the first mistake we usually make when troubleshooting a problem is to overlook what apparently is not part of the problem. So let's begin. To eliminate doubts of a human error. Always make sure that the power supply of your receiver is not part of the problem. Try connecting it to an overpower outlet if it's necessary. If you already clear that doubt, then it's extremely crucial to ensure that your IPTV receiver and your TV are synchronized with the same connection. What I mean with this is that you should verify that the same HDMI port where you connect your receiver behind your TV match the same source that you select on the TV screen with the input source button that is in your TV remote control. Also, this input source button could be located on the TV frame and it could be on top, bottom, right or left front part of your TV frame or right or left back side of your TV edges. In our example, we'll be using the source HDMI 1. If, after connecting your STB box and verifying that the connections and HDMI source are a match and you still don't see the image loading on the screen, I recommend you to try another HDMI port on the back of the TV and if possible, try a different HDMI cable. Don't forget to always observe the HDMI port number where you reconnect your IPTV box behind the TV because you must select the same input number on the TV screen with the input source button on your TV remote every time you switch to a different port. Also, very so often disconnect and reconnect your Mac from power as it could fall in standby mode and some smart TV will only enable the input source if a signal is detected through the cable. Ok, once again, if after verifying that the connections are ok and that the TV is not the problem and you still won't see the image loading on the screen, then it's very possible that your Mac display resolution setup is incompatible with your global zone. 
This is NTSC for countries with the North and some South America, or Paul for most European countries. This is not a general pattern, but some smart TVs cannot interpret the encoded resolution for another global zone, especially when using HDMI connection, frustrating the end user with a non-signal message or incompatible resolution. This can easily happen when you are configuring your Mac and by mistake select the resolution in the wrong category. For example, PAL 1080p-50 instead of NTSC 1080p-60 or vice versa. After saving the changes and restarting your Mac, it will be rebooting with a big headache for you. To know if this is your case, I recommend you to try connecting your Mac to different TV and maybe you will be able to access the menu where you can navigate to setting, then video, and then select on video output mode a resolution compatible with your global zone. If you don't have another TV to try, then disconnect the HDMI cable and reconnect your Mac to the TV using the composite adapter that possibly came included with your Mac, that is yellow, red, and white. Don't forget that if you use this cable, you must select on the TV screen the correct input source matching the same video input source where you reconnect your Mac on the TV. Depending on the TV brand, it may be labeled, for example, Video 1, Video 2, Video 3, Composite, or AV. Now, depending on the TV, again, this video input could be found behind, in the front, or either backside of the TV frame. If you use this cable, and if your connections are okay, you may or may not be able to see a clear image. If you don't have a clear picture, perhaps with this distorted, then you should definitely have to try a different TV, or try a factory reset in your Mac. Now, assuming you do have a clear or partial clear image, then navigate to Main Menu, System Setting, Video, and here in Video Output Mode, change to a resolution compatible with your global zone. For example, for North and some South America countries, you must select within the NTSC category a resolution that is compatible with the TV you have, such as NTSC 480 for analog TVs, or for high definition, select one of the following 720p 60, 1080i 60, or 1080p 60 as the highest. If you are not sure which resolution are compatible with your TV, then just select Auto. In the Graphic Resolution option, it's also important that you select a resolution that is compatible with the TV you have. But again, if you are not sure, then select Same as Video. Don't forget to save the changes. Repeatedly click the bottom with the little house and select Accept the changes if it pops up. If you already have correct this video output format, and now you want to check if the HDMI connection is working, then go back to the beginning and repeat the initial process. I know I'm super repeating myself, but don't forget to synchronize the connection with the input source option on your TV screen after you change the HDMI. If, after all troubleshooting, you still can't see the picture using HDMI cable and you already double check that it's not a connection problem or that the HDMI port on your TV are not the problem, then definitely the HDMI port of your IPTV box is gone. There is nothing else you can do, just clean your warranty if any, or keep using your USB receiver with the composite cable only. It may sound easy to say, but don't discourage if it happens to you sooner than when you anticipate it. You just had a little bit of a bad luck. The Mac 254 is an electronic device that just like any other electronic is also susceptible to static electricity. And especially in areas prone to electric storms, it's always a good idea to use a surge protector. I hope that these tedious steps have helped you identify and solve your problems. If so, please help others share your results. We would like to hear from you. And don't forget to subscribe and to enable the bell for notifications of the upcoming video tutorials from the Shortcuts or to shortcuts.com. Goodbye.